Hey guys, well, it's time for another episode of TJ's Chainsaw Restoration, and we are doing another restoration. Um, this particular one is not a full restoration, I am not rebuilding the saw. This saw is a was a running saw when I took it apart. Um, I'll have to go back and see on my videos if I've shown you guys this saw before, but it was a Home Light 420, uh, 4 horse, 20 pounds. And this saw did run, it ran pretty good, and yes, if I remember right, in the last video, or the video before last, where I was raising hell with saws uh, for the new year, uh, you guys will see that one in there. It was a 420 gear drive. And, um, well, I decided I had enough leftover paint, and Leon, at Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair, who happens to live about two, probably two hours from me, um, gave me a can of the uh, more period, cr more correct color green paint. Uh, the color green I had was way too dark, and he gave me the green that he uses, and it's much better. So as you can see, we've already gotten a fair amount um, done. Uh, I had to work today, so I stayed late and just decided to have at it. I blasted a bunch of parts and got them painted up while the sun was up because it got fairly warm it actually got to probably about 50 degrees today so and I had a little heater on blowing warm air on the parts so it actually worked out really well so here's a part for you um, this is the green I've gone with now this is actually called shimmering green it's from Duplicolor and it's a much better match than what I used on the 770 GS um, so this is a good start and it looks a hell of a lot nicer um, so the saw is going to look really good, the red and green, of course you guys can't even see it, but the red and the green go very well together, and the clear coat did a good job. Um, I'm still using the Duplicolor Clear because that's what I have. I'm thinking this particular sh saw I'm just going to use as a show saw. Um, I don't think I'm going to run it. Um, I've ran, I ran this gear drive saw enough to where I think I'm just going to call it good. Um, you know, because I, I like to have one saw that I know runs, but I don't want to get a bunch of scratches on. You know, or I might run it. Um, it just depends on what ends up going on. But anyway, here's another couple pieces. I'm trying to see what happened here. Well, whatever happened here is quite interesting. That's weird. Anyway, well, we got the handle painted. I mean, we got a few other parts painted. I'm not sure if you guys can see in the... Yeah, I guess you guys can barely get it in there, but... There we go. We got the uh, gear case cover painted up. I went ahead and soda blasted the flywheel, so it, it cleaned it up, gave it kind of its original look. Um, got a few more parts and pieces to paint here, so let me get you guys turned around and we'll show you what's going on. And in this box here, we've got the gas tank, the gas tank I'm going to bead blast because I've got to bead blast the inside of it. It's really nasty in there. Um, I'm debating on what I'm going to do with this screen. The last one I did, I actually bead blasted it and then I just so, uh, chrome painted it with the chrome paint and it actually turned out pretty decent. As you guys can see on this old saw, it looks pretty good. But here's the, here's the color contrast for you. So this is a nice, whoops, boy this clear is still somewhat soft too so I have to be careful but this is a nice you know lighter green and as you can see up there it's much darker in comparison so there is quite the difference um, but this is much closer and unfortunately I don't have any parts on me right now that would kind of show you guys uh, oh there you go uh, that, that's even a little bit lighter but Anyway, oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. But here's the color I'm using. This is the Duplicolor. It's a, it's a Metal Specs uh, specialty coating. And, and there's our part number. I doubt it's going to focus well enough for you guys to read that. Of course not. But it's a D-U-P-M S-500. And that would be your part number. So... But we got the saw torn apart, I soda blasted this out pretty good, and I got a different handle for it, because the original handle, as you can see, is broken at the end, so I'm going to pop the rivets out, and 
swap the plates. As you can see, I've already popped the plate off of this one. Swap the plates over, and then I got some small stuff to do in here. And then we're gonna get this old girl back together. So this will be part one. Um, there will probably only be a part two. Uh, like I said, as I did get a late start to this video because I just it was kind of a impromptu uh, kind of a. Um, <laughs> I think it was Friday, I was like, you know what, I'm going to repaint another saw, and then today I just decided to get with it, so I had the saw torn apart Friday evening, all down to pieces, and um, due to the fact I've already had like six of these apart, I'm getting pretty good at getting them apart and back together, so I figured I'd do this one real quick, um, and then I've gotten the parts I need to, are on the way to fix this thing, again, yes, again, um, well wait, you guys knew it was blown up already, I don't, I'm not even going to bother to tell you what happened again, so, this will be the third time I'm going to be fixing this saw, <laughs> this thing, this one has been kicking me in the butt so many times, um, so I've got another part saw on the way, and I'm thinking I'm going to re-ring it, rebuild it once more, and then... I might turn this one into a show saw as well because it just doesn't want to stay running for me. Um, I haven't even gotten a chance to run it with the bar and chain on it. Maybe it doesn't want this big of a bar and chain. Who knows? But this one, this one, I will prevail even if I had to keep rebuilding the stupid thing for the rest of my life. It's just too cool of a saw. I mean, look at that, guys. It is just... I just love it. Every time I walk in... Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn this compressor off because... It's going to turn on here, but every time I walk into this shop, so here's the door, go right back here, boom, oh, well, oh. yeah, it's so bright, look at that, boom, there you go, it's like, oh, I love it, and then the 2100, it's kind of hidden back behind the light, but there's the 2100, um, this one's also going to eventually get repainted. But I haven't even cut with this thing. It's ran. I've run it. Oh gosh. I almost fell backwards too. Well, this isn't any good. But I've ran it. And ran it and ran it. But I haven't cut with it yet. And it's got a brand new 404 chain on it too. And the original roller nose bar. So I'm going to have to get some decent weather so I can cut with these darn things. I took the, I took the uh, Model RA in and got it cleaned up. And I took the 620 in, made a new chain for that, so this one actually cuts now. So I'll have to get some cutting videos with the 620. Um, I did some cutting with the EZ. As you can see, it's dirty again, and it cuts like a champ. i got to do some more tuning on it, but it cuts really well. So, But I haven't cut with the C5 yet. That's another one I need to get out and start cutting with. So There's some stuff to do. And, yeah... So, that's where we are, but anyway, back to the, the, oh yeah, and then there's the 26 LCS, that's another project. That one's going to come a little later, because this one's, I'm really debating on what I want to do with this one. Um, oh yeah, a guy mentioned uh, in the comments about just re-ringing it, and that's that's a good idea. That's what I'm definitely going to do for now. Um, I forgot his name. And I'm sorry, man. I don't remember your name, but yeah, I, I definitely get, I'm gonna take your advice. I'm, that's what it's. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reseal it, re-ring it, run it for a while, cut with it, use it as a another saw, and then eventually I'm thinking I'm gonna repaint it. But I'm gonna because I this is too cool of a saw to just hang on the wall. Um, the older ones I don't mind hanging so much, um, you know, because it's it's kind of it's just cooler in my opinion. I like seeing being able to see them in good shape. Um, without, you know, because it's a labor of love. You spend a lot of time, a lot of time on one of these, getting them all prettied up. And, uh, it's a shame to just watch it all get chipped away. But, that's what I think this one's going to be, is my show saw. Uh, but I might run it. I might take it to the festival and run it. So, that might be what I'll save it for. I'll let it get chipped up, showing it off. But, okay, well, this is the end of part one. Um... We're going to get these parts probably painted up tonight. I'm going to at least get working on this one. i got some more sanding to do on it. Get it hung, get it painted, and then uh, got some other stuff i got to blast. So we'll get back to you guys. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a great weekend, and we'll get at you later.